Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. I am thinking for this one to do kind of like just a day in the life. Not much is happening but rather than spread it out across the whole week because it is um, midweek already. So I have some exciting deliveries come. I also have a really lovely date night planned with Johnny tonight and I also have a whole load of new makeup that I spoke about over on Instagram and I want to try um, kind of like do like a first impressions of you guys. So there's a few things happening in this vlog. I've spent the last few hours doing some work and now the rest of the day is pretty chilled. It's pretty much I'm just vlogging with you guys and I get to do fun things whilst vlogging. But first things first, before we get cracking, I want to clean my office. I know I say this in every single vlog, but it always needs a clean. So I'm gonna tidy up my office from my work this morning and then I'm going to sit down and talk to you about some really lovely um, home updates and also some clothing. I'm gonna stick you on a time lapse and then I will speak to you in about 10 seconds. is feeling a bit cleaner and my candles are lit which always puts me in such a good mood and motivates me for the day also look how beautiful these ice globes are from Codely. I feel like they are a work of art so basically what you do is you freeze them overnight um, and then use them as like a massager ball on your face after your skincare how oh, nice so pretty I'm so scared if I drop it it's glass so before I jump into doing my makeup I'll talk to you about a lovely brand called Lily Silk who do the most gorgeous mulberry silk pieces if you guys have watched me for a little while now you will know that I absolutely adore silk I adore silk scrunchies silk eye masks silk bedding everything that can be silk I love it so this little blouse I'm wearing is from Lily Silk as well so many different things on there they have clothing they have scrunchies they have bedding they have accessories they just kind of have everything that you would think of that could be silk you remember in the old house i had silk bedding but when we moved to this house we got a super king bed we're finding it really difficult to find good quality silk products that fit a super king bed and bedding so when i saw them on lily silk i had to pick them up so because there is bedding i wanted to get it on the bed and um, test it out to let you guys know how it is it's amazing by the way because of that yesterday i filmed a little segment of me opening the packaging because i wanted you guys to see it whilst it was packaged and then i also wanted to try um sleeping in it so i'm going to cut to that right now and you can see how beautiful these items were when they arrived they've come in these beautiful little boxes and inside this one it's all like tissue wrapped and this is my little blouse that i'm going to put on and show you and also in here is my fitted sheet i'm pretty sure look at that packaging how beautiful is this to be such a beautiful gift for someone as well or just a to me from me <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to show you that packaging because i thought it was gorgeous these are my super king pillowcases which i'm super excited about i need to steam them and then i'm going to go put them on the bed but this is beautifully soft like oh my goodness it's such a lovely present for someone um i think i've already said this but also as a present like to me from me i don't know if i said that in the cutaway but if not there we go so this is the little black blouse on i absolutely love silk such a lovely breathable and light material it's super comfortable to wear and i always think that silk and black in a top makes it look really really chic so i'll just show you what i'm actually wearing today i'm working from home so i do have my slippers on and then i have these full leather joggers on it's again super comfortable but you do kind of look put together and then i have this gorgeous little blouse on so this is what it looks like it has this really cute little collar detailing i think it's very girly and feminine but then the black and the silk of the top is just really chic and like put together so perfect for all occasions but great for working at home to show you with the ring light on because it is quite a dark day can you see that little um collar detailing i think it's super cute and then on the sleeves there's just two little buttons there and then it ties up on the back with two buttons as well but yeah this is one of the pillowcases here the other one is on the bed and i slept on it last night it was amazing as expected but this is just the most beautiful soft mulberry silk ever and um, if you guys didn't know silk is really really good for your skin and your hair that's why i like to sleep on it, it has antibacterial properties it is sleep promoting obviously it's very silky and smooth as well but also you know at night time when you wake up like halfway through the night and your pillow is hot you have to like flip it silk isn't like that silk keeps cool all night which i love and sleeping on the base sheet was amazing 
thinking I have never slept on a silk base sheet before and let me tell you I am converted. I was kind of worried that I would be like slipping and sliding all over the bed but it's not like that. <laughs> it's just really comfortable. I'll go down and show you that on the bed in a second but then the other things I picked up were some silk scrunchies. So these came in so many different colours but I went for black because I don't actually own any black ones which is crazy. The smaller size which is super handy for like low buns. I feel like um, they're not too bulky and you can get a really tight style for the size up which is really cute and then I went for the size up from that one and then I went for the biggest size so this is the third biggest and this is the biggest like your more typical kind of scrunchy look I love doing like a half up style and then popping this big one on I think it's really girly and feminine yeah I'm going to take you down to the bedroom in a minute but just so you guys know if you want to shop anything from Lily Silk you can use Nadia 12 and it will get you an extra 12% off everything okay, so I haven't showed you guys the bedroom in forever but these are the silk pillowcases I've just popped Johnny's on for him um there the quality is just so lovely it's super silky smooth and then before i make the bed properly here is the base sheet so again it's the mulberry silk and it's the white color that the pillows are in and it's just so nice to get into bed too honestly it's just like sleeping on well silk <laughs> pop these down below of course and um, obviously they get a little bit creased when you sleep on them but they're the easiest things to just steam or um cold iron and here is the bed all made i always have the silk pillowcases at the back because these are the ones we sleep on and then these ones are obviously like dress cushions so I always have them at the front. I've popped my little scrunchie on my side table for when I head to bed. Yeah, this combination of the silk sheet, silk pillows and a nice scrunchie that's super comfortable will give you the best night's sleep ever. Okay, so the rest of today is going to be spent talking to you guys about my new makeup and also date night and there's something else. Oh yes, I have... <laughs> Wow, it's so important. I have to clean my makeup brushes. Okay, it's so dark today. I've had to put two lights on and I have two windows there as well. <laughs> this is, is that mirror in shot there? This is my huge box from Cult Beauty <laughs> of stuff that I picked up. So I'm not gonna use all of it, but I'll just kind of try what I fancy. So I'll actually just show you what I got. Okay, so I got this serum from Sunday Riley. I've heard so much about the Juno one, but reading up on them, I'm not sure if I'm making this up. I think the Juno one had retinol and my skin is not reacting well to retinol, so I went for the UFO one. And got this Too Faced Prime and Primed and Poreless um, primer. I've used their Hangover one before, but not this one. And I really enjoyed the Hangover one, so I'm excited to try this. Picked up some Huda Beauty Foundation. Like everyone raves about this, so it was kind of hard to choose my like shade online, but I went for Trez lashes you guys can read that i'm not gonna try it then i got some benefit they're real i used to use this all the time and then i got lash extensions and i stopped using mascara and then i stopped using lash extensions and honestly i just kind of forgot about it so i'm excited to try this again and see if i still think it's as good as it was and i got this gorgeous charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize champagne eyeshadow i'm definitely gonna use this i think it looks gorgeous i got a nude eyeliner for my waterline because I keep seeing girls doing it and they look amazing but I'm not gonna lie I did put a little bit on yesterday and I was like <laughs> mm -mm, nope not for me I also picked up another one of the Hollywood flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury I actually have like three of these but they're probably like two years old and I just think they're out of date now so I picked up a new one but the Hollywood contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury again um, I actually need to go and get some brushes I have some here but I don't think they're gonna cover everything then I got this did I Oh, I thought this said lip protection. I was like, I don't need lip protection. This is lip injection from Too Faced. I read reviews and apparently it's really good. Obviously I have lip fillers in, but I can't see my doctors right now because we're in lockdown. So I'm gonna see if this works. I got some whey shampoo and oh, sugar. Did I pick up two shampoos? I think that's a mistake. Either from me or them, I'm gonna find out. But either way, I got the medium whey two shampoos um i've used this once before a long time ago and i remember really enjoying it yeah it smells good i then got the whey volume spray spray damp hair from root to tip before blow drying for long lasting volume finish with texturizing hairspray for added lift okay so i can't really try this till tomorrow but i'm sure i will report back at some point this was actually gifted um from garlan it's a foundation it's called the High Perfection Foundation 24 Hour Wear SPF 15. First of all, this is a work of art. Look at this bottle. Like how gorgeous, I literally thought it was perfume when it arrived. I don't know what shade this is, so I'm either gonna use the Huda Beauty or this one, but I need to check out um, 
shades. I'm going to start with my primer. So this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. As I say, I've used, oh my God, who is that? Someone's playing like Caribbean music. Oh, it's tinted. Pore, ban Pore Banishing and Blurring Face Primer. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has this kind of like skin color texture, uh, color to it, which I didn't realize, but that's cool. So let me pop some of this on. Oh, this feels really, really nice. Okay, you know some primers can feel like super, super silky on the face, but almost like too silky where it feels like your foundation is going to slip off like silk this has that silky kind of feeling but it's not like slippery if you know what i mean like it's got some kind of like grip to it as well actually I'll zoom you in a little bit do i look blurred <laughs> okay that's better isn't it let's go on to whoops the mascara if i remember correctly this mascara, you really need to use it for like a few days because it works so much better once it's actually kind of dried out. I make a huge mess when I do my mascara, so I'll clean it up afterwards. So obviously this eye has it on. It's a little bit clumpy like in here, if you can see. Um, obviously this one doesn't, but that's only, well, one full layer and then a tiny bit more that I've done. I think that's pretty good. Not sure if it's a little bit clumpy. I've been steering towards like really lengthening lashes recently, but I think it's nice. Let's do this one and then I will. Okay, what actually look? That's good. That is good, isn't it? I'm gonna stick some of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on. To be honest, this is one of those products that I like but i don't love and i don't really understand why everyone goes mad for it but when i asked on instagram for you guys to tell me your favorite products and ones that you just cannot live without this came up this was the most that came up so i thought you know i'm gonna try it again and just see how i get on so i think people put this all over or they just kind of put it on the high points i'm gonna just kind of okay putting it all over then <laughs> a bit on my nose didn't know what shade to get. I went for shade 4.5 medium, but it does look quite orange. I'm gonna just take my normal foundation brush and just kind of go over that. I don't know whether my foundation brush has old foundation on it that is putting it onto my skin or if that's just the product I just used, but I feel like that's really nice. It's like, kind of like a tinted moisturizer vibe. I, yeah, you can see, I definitely have like a nice glow to my skin. Doesn't that look like I've got tinted moisturizer on? Interesting. Okay, so shall I do Huda or shall I do Guerlain? I think I'm gonna do Huda, you know, purely because I've heard a lot about it, whereas I haven't heard about the new Guerlain one. God, wow, that is orange though. So I just take it down my neck. Okay, let's see. Let's roll with it. My God. Guys, <laughs> I'm in this predicament. Do I roll with it? Or do I start again and use Guerlain? Do you know what? Let's roll with it. Okay, what I will say though, if I get the right shade, this is a really gorgeous consistency. And I feel like it's not super heavy, but it's full coverage. I like it. I literally look like an Oompa Loompa, but I really like the consistency of that. Go in with some concealer. These are old concealers. I'm gonna use my Dior Skin Correct, Forever Skin, Forever Skin Correct. This is what I use every day. Remember when, I don't know if it's only a UK thing, but there's this magazine called like, was it Shout and Miss, Miz, um, in the UK. I used to get it every week. 
I had like a tab on at my local paper shop and like my parents would pay for this magazine every week and my they'd go collect it and bring it home for me and you know used to get like free foundation samples and stuff in it and this reminds me of that I remember there was a time when I did my makeup from this free sample foundation and my mum was like I'm literally not leaving the house with you if you look like that <laughs> oh god I used to be such a cake face Banana Low Lighter from Royal Deal. This stuff is amazing. It gives you the most highlighted face. Do not be alarmed when you put it on and start blending it in because it looks so bright. But once you like finish off your makeup, it looks really good. So I'm gonna go in with the same brush. I put some powder on. What will I use? This is my favorite powder at the minute. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Banana Powder. Actually, it's called Translucent, but I would say it's banana. So I tap a little bit into the lid like this. You probably see it's quite yellow. And then I take a brush that's smaller and go under my eyes and pack that on. Then I take a fluffy brush, this one's from Rodeo, and just kind of go over the rest of my face. Hey guys, I really messed this up. It's fine, we'll work with it. I just realised I meant to contour was my, and it's a cream contour. <laughs> this is Charlotte Tilbury, medium deep contour thing. I actually used to have like the blush for this and really, really enjoyed it. So I think, you know, you twist it and then you just for the product to come out not that I really need to contour but let's just try a little bit have you seen this like TikTok trend where it's like put moisturizer on and then powder and then put your foundation on and like I really want to try it but also I just feel like it's going to look terrible and then I'll do that and then I'll have to take my makeup off and start again <laughs> um okay let's blend this in Oh wow, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, considering how dark this is, it's actually a really, really lovely shade for me. Can you see that? That's nice. Let's put a little bit on. Oh my God, it's like at school when you had those, no, it's like bingo markers. <laughs> Okay, let's do it up here. I know I've just done that the complete wrong way, guys, but we move. And actually, what I really like doing is putting a tiny bit under my lip, like here. I think it gives like an illusion of a real. Shadowed lip. I put my lip liner on because I think I look weird. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, I'm using MAC lip pencil in Spice. Actually, I'll bring you in for my lips because I get asked this a lot. I am by no means good at lip liner, but this is just what I do. I think this is the easiest. So I'm not going to talk on this, but you'll see what I'm doing. So I find that I go like this, and then you see that like white rim. That's what I line. And then same on the top. I take my finger. And I just kind of chop up where I think it needs it. Yeah, I think it's this the easiest way to do lip liner and I actually really like how it looks. I don't wear lipstick often. Um, if I do, I'll kind of do the same process, put a little bit on, rub it in, because I don't like my lips to look too like made up. Real Deal Blusher. I 
what else is new? Am I missing something? Oh, my eyelash, eyebrows, eye, <laughs> mascara. Oh my God, <laughs> shadow. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly do my brows because they take one second. Just gonna brush them out. And I use the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade number two. And that's literally what I do. I did have my eyebrows microbladed. Um, like a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago now, and my, the girl that does them lives like in Southampton, and it's like an hour and a bit drive now. But she is amazing, and I want to go visit her again. I actually think I look like <laughs> I look flawless. No, I think my skin looks like airbrushed and really, really nice. I'm actually very impressed with myself. Okay, and then I'm going to use this, which is gorgeous. So it's the Eyes to Mesmerize in the color Champagne. From Charlotte Tilbury, first of all, I'm just really like obsessed with this packaging. I don't know why this doesn't focus when I zoom it, it's so annoying. There, yes. I just think it's a really gorgeous little pot. And then inside, it's this beautiful metallic. I think they had quite a few shades actually. This one I just thought was best for me. I don't know if I wanna use my finger or my, <laughs> or my brush. I can only shut this, this eye's really easy to shut, this eye, I just can't do it. Maybe we start on finger. Oh wow, I'm bringing you in, that's nice. It's like a real lovely, like shimmery, glossy kind of effect, which I like a lot. Oh my God, I absolutely love that. Okay, this is like what I would say my exact eyeshadow color is anyway, like my skin is anyway but then it's got this really lovely like glossy shine. I'm excited to see how it wears because a lot of people message me when I put it on Instagram saying that they love it, but it creases real bad. Okay, that is so nice. Just make sure it's blended on the outside. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick up a few more colors of that. Let's try this eye now. I can't do it like this. Um, let me use a mirror. I'm gonna have to go in with my brush on this one. I'm laughing at my eyeshadow face. Okay, guys, I'm really happy with that. I hope that it looks as nice on camera as it looks in real life because it's gorgeous. I also love that that is super, super easy product to work with. Like you can probably see how like not talented I am at doing eyeshadow. I just kind of like smack it on, but that was, I think it looks good. And it took me like one second. Okay, then I have this nude liner, but like, am I gonna do it? Because I just don't know. I'll show you it. Okay, this is the Killer Liner from Too Faced in the shade Killer Cashmere. So people are putting it in their waterline and it looks gorgeous, but I don't know. I think it just made me look weird. Okay, maybe I put too much on because you can't really even tell that. Can you tell? It's gonna, be those, it's gonna be one of those things that I either cannot live without now or just will never use again. Um, okay, now the final thing is lip injection. 97% said it delivers results instantly. 97% lips feel moisturized. 93% said lips look fuller and more plump. Well, if anyone can give a true opinion of that, it's me because I've been having lip fillers for my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> you see, oh, I'm not sure about that. It's got this weird, like, like marbly, glossy effect. Right, camera, you are testing my patience today. There. Can you see? It's like, you know when things like change colour in the light? Like pearly, that's the word, pearly. Oh, that smells good. Oh my god. It smells like bubble gum. Did anyone used to eat have a bubba? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what it smells like. Okay, let's put some on. Oh, it doesn't come out very easily. I'm expecting this to like burn and like hurt, but I don't actually think it will from the smell. Actually, I'm gonna leave it there because I do not like a glossy lip. Right, this is my lips now. No, I'm not gonna smile like this. Okay, now let's give it like a few minutes and then I'll show you. Do they look any bigger? Do you know these things, I never know if it's placebo or not because like, <coughs> excuse me. Now I'm looking at my lips and I'm like, yeah. Um, if you are intolerant to pain, you may find this uncomfortable but not sore. I don't think that foundation looks too dark now that, hmm, maybe a little bit, but I guess, okay, no, you can see there, it's my natural colour and that's foundation, but let's pretend that I'm tanned. It's a really lovely foundation. It's super light. I think it's, I think the primer has definitely like blurred my skin. Sorry, I keep looking in there, but I'm just trying to look at it in the camera so you guys are getting a true representation. I think it looks a lot smoother on camera than it does in real life. Um, let me know what you think about that nude liner. As, are you like noticing a difference or does it just look completely normal? I think, I can't tell. I don't know if I actually like it. And then lips. Are they bigger? I don't know, but I do like the feeling. <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna tidy this up and then I'm gonna clean up my brushes. So these are my brushes and this is what makes it so satisfying. This is from Real Techniques. You wet your brushes, obviously, put a bit of soap or shampoo on them then rub it across this and honestly it takes them out instantly so I'm going to just do these now good evening guys um we're having a date night now but just a little, oh, I'm in focus. Oh, that's because my wine was there. <laughs> um, a little update on my makeup. It is a few hours later tonight, but I think it's actually lasted pretty well. You can see where it comes off on me, like often. Um, but I was on FaceTime to my sister and she was like, oh my God, your skin looks really good. And I was like, that is literally because I've just put new makeup on and I had, I think it's the primer. I actually really like everything that I showed you guys. So I'll leave what I can down below. And now I'm just in my comfies. I have my Lily Silk scrunchie in. It's super cute, let me show you properly. Let me see. And we have ordered some food from an Asian restaurant called Rocker. So we're about to eat that. We've literally got a feast, haven't we? It's a lot of food. Let me show you. <laughs> I think we went a little bit overboard. But we have some beef. Beef. I got salmon. some salmon, some chicken, sushi. But actually, one of that was for tomorrow. So we ordered more sushi so I could have some for lunch. So don't eat all of it now. Okay? <laughs> sashimi, which I don't know, I only really like tuna sashimi. I don't like the other two, but what is that one? The white one? Uh, I think that's yellowtail, tuna, salmon. Oh, yeah. I think um, that's yellowtail, I, I have no idea. Yeah, it was, yellowtail. I feel like yellowtail is a lot thinner than that. Well, it depends how it's prepared. I can't make that shit. looks very, looks very, very good. good. And the best part. Well, I didn't order this, Johnny ordered this, but this is like a... What is it? Sticky toffee pudding? Some sort of sticky toffee pudding and then you put the caramel on top and the magic happens. Anyway, so I'm probably going to sign this video off now. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything that I showed or mentioned will be down below. I'll leave all the Lily Silk stuff down there as well. And remember I have a discount code which is Nadia12 and that will get you 12% off anything that you want to shop. But I'll leave all that information down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.